This is uh, how to time your Fox Body Mustang ignition timing, start to finish. Anybody can do it. You're lucky if you have this type of car. You can still use the old type timing lights. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Don't be afraid to do it if you own a Fox Body, if it's surging, or if you just want to make sure everything's right. I'll show you how it goes here. Okay, first of all, you're going to need a timing light. Okay, this right here I've had a long time. Innova, I think I bought it at AutoZone. I've used it a lot, and they're not that expensive. You can buy an expensive one if you want, but if uh, you're on a budget uh, on Amazon here, I saw, here's mine right here. It's... Uh, 33 bucks is what it is right here. $33 free shipping. Uh, I, I saw them as low as $25. It'll be fine. I like this OBD Monster ignition timing light, 12 volt strobe light induction, petrol engine. It's 29 bucks. It'll be free shipping. Get the $25 one if uh, that's all you need. It'll work for you. Now here's... Uh, something you need to know. Uh, this is called a harmonic balancer. Uh, I removed it off this car because I wanted to put the stock one back on it to make sure I had everything right. And what you're going to want to do is you want to get, get a marker like this. You climb under your car and bump the starter until you can see the uh, there's going to be some marks on it like this. Okay. And what you're going to want, you're going to want, you're going to want, want to mark that at 10 degrees BTC before top dead center. That's what a stock uh, Mustang wants to run at. And believe me, that's where you're going to want, it, want this thing. You can play around with it and move it up a couple degrees or down, but that's pretty much what you're going to want. So you just climb under there and you get a permanent marker, you know, and put you a mark on there, on your harmonic balancer like this one's got. Something like that. I've got numerous ones on here. Like I said, I can't even see the numbers on this anymore, so I decided to go back stock again. So, okay, now let's look under here. Here's my, this car, see that mark down there? That's my brand new harmonic balancer, okay? Uh, and that mark right there, believe me, is on 10 degrees BTDC, or BTC, before top dead center. I know that's where it is. Now you see my timing pointer there? Your Fox body's going to have that pointer right there, okay? That gray pointer there. Okay, now, let's move on. Okay, here's my timing light. It's three things to hook up. That's it. Your negative, your positive, and then, see if my light, I can get a place for my light to, okay, yeah, there it goes. And then check this out. Okay, this goes on your number one plug. And it says right there, it's got a pointer on it there, if you can see. It says towards plug. It's kind of hard to see there. That's the way it goes. Your number one plug is right here on your passenger side, your front plug. Guaranteed on this Mustang now. Okay? So you want that pointer to go towards the plug. You can, you can hook it up here, and you can hook it. I'll hook it down here a little closer to the, the plug, okay? And that's it. Okay, now I've got my timing light hooked up. See, I can move it a little bit, and I know I have that. There you can see it a little bit better. See, it says towards plug, that pointer. I mean, how can you go wrong? And I'm telling you, this is your number one plug right here. Passenger side, front. 
okay? Now, here's my little timing light. It's hooked up, and I'm going to aim it down here and point it, and I'm going to get that, that line to show up at the edge of my pointer there, okay? Now, here's the other thing you need to do. A couple of things. It's not hard to do this. I mean, go ahead and try this. Go get your $30 timing light. Okay, this is called your spout connector right here on your Mustang. Just dig around on this right here and you'll see it. Okay, unplug your spout connector. Oh, I moved my timing a little bit there because I've got it on loose. There's your spout connector. It's almost the same as uh, the old type cars you used to plug up the vacuum on them. Okay, well, this is kind of similar to that. But remove this. Okay. Now, you get a half inch wrench. Okay, it's, oh, let me get my light again here. I'll show you. Now, do you see that bolt right there? Okay, you get a half inch wrench and unloosen that so that you can turn. See, I've got some marks on my uh, distributor there. So you can turn this a little bit. Okay, that's going to adjust your timing. Okay, that's what that's doing. So, that's, that's it. You hook your timing light up, as shown. Number one plug. You have your harmonic balancer marked with a paint marker, whatever you can come up with. Sharpies don't work too good. Go get you a paint, uh, permanent paint marker and mark it at 10 degrees. That's what you're going to want on these cars now. Unless you've got it really uh, hopped up. But, okay. Now, that's about all I'm going to show you there. And we're going to go start the, this car right here. I've got a new distributor or a new distributor cap and button in it. A new distributor. I've got uh, everything fixed up here. I've got my BBK um, mass air meter on it. This is an 88. I've converted it over to mass air. Okay, I've got a lot of stuff on this thing, but I still keep it at exactly 10 degrees BTC. It runs best at that. I've got electric fans on it. I've got an aluminum radiator. I've got a one-wire alternator. No air conditioning. I've got a trick flow cam in it, track max. Uh, a few other things. And let's start it up and time this thing. And I want you to go get your timing light and try this on your own. Your timing light will cost uh, less than uh, you taking it to a shop. Okay. Everything's out of the way. I'll throw also your throttle position sensor. I'll show you a little bit about that before I get started. It's another thing you can adjust. There's my light back again right here. You notice I've got some wires that are, uh, let's see, where is it here? See those wires that are frayed a little bit? That's so I can get my meter in there. You can go online, your throttle position sensor is right there. And you can swivel this thing a little bit. You can file it down, file those holes down a little bit, and you can swivel it just a little bit. Mine's adjustable, you see that right there? But if you don't have an adjustment on it, you just take those two screws out and you uh, weasel, I'll call it weasel those holes out to take you a little rasp or a little round file and weasel those out a little bit and you can twist it a little bit to adjust it. And there's uh, just go online and find a YouTube video. I've made one um, to adjust it and what the settings are. And that's another little adjustment you can do. Okay, now that's enough on that. And I'm going to fire it up and, and, uh, and adjust the timing on this and show you what it's, what it's like. Got new plugs in it. I got uh, kind of a little hotter plug in it. New wires, 9mm wires, everything I can do to it. There's my electric fans. There's my ECU that's been rebuilt. It's an A9L. Wires look a mess, They're, but everything's ready to go. I'm ready to put it back together. Just 
still working on it. And here we go. where my marks almost where I want it I'll move the distributor a little bit if I can hold okay that'll stay there There you have it. Now, when I plug the spout connector back in, if I can right here, one-handed. Oh, forget about it. The mark will jump. But that's about it. That's what you want to do. Ten degrees BTC. Because I don't have the spout connector plugged in, it's wanting to idle. Or I mean uh stall on me. Matter of fact, I'll plug that in and we'll see what happens. See how the timing mark has moved but it's running real good now let's give it a little rev thirty pounds of uh, fuel pressure let's give it a little rev now Running like a champ. Got the Trick Flow Track Max Cam in it. Let's check the idle out. Hope that helped you out. Go get that timing light. Set your timing at, again, at 10 degrees BTC. That's what stock timing is. Your car will run great. Good luck.